Good morning. Uh, Tony Torrance here for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a little foam top uh, steelhead skater. Uh, I'm going to start out. I've got a hook here. It's a TMC 7989, number 6. Um, you could tie this in a lot of different sizes, whatever suits your, your taste and the steelhead you're fishing for. Everybody has variants in their area as to what sizes they like to fish. I'll start out by stacking a little uh, moose hair for a tail. I'm going to use this as an underbody too, just to add some flotation to the flies if the foam wasn't enough. Secure that under then wrap back. Now this is a fly that uh, you use all over. Umpqua, Willamette, shoots. Anywhere you can skate up a... BC. Yep. Anywhere you can skate up a fish to a dry. Then I'm going to take a um, little piece of uh, fluorescent green or chartreuse uh, crystal flash. Tie that down one side, pull it over to the other. Cut this and leave it a little long. Next I have some Lagerton mini flat braid in a fluorescent chartreuse. We're going to tie this as a butt and this gives a focal point um, to get those fish to uh, lock in on the back of the fly and hopefully grab there. Get that hook in them. You know, everything's black on this fly, so it just it stands out a little bit. Next, I'm going to come up to the front. And usually I do this all at the beginning, is get the front and the back. These are going to be the legs that stand out in the front. And you'll see as we finish this fly. Make sure that when you put these legs in, you leave you know about the tip of your scissors width from any thread up the eye because when you pull the foam over you want to have a place to seat it. So I'm going to set that up where I want it. Lock it in. I'm using Vivas um, 6 out thread. This stuff is uh, very 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 strong so I can really reef on this hair. See I cut that so the butt ends meet one another. Keeps the body symmetry through the fly. And I still have the gap. Okay, so that's important later. We'll get to that. I'm going to come back here now and finish up my body. Um, next, I'm going to use some uh, hairline flat diamond braid in black. This has a little green sheen to it as well. You know, I'm not using a lot of synthetic or uh, natural materials on this fly, and the reason is I don't want them to s this fly to soak up water and sink. I want it to float like a cork so when I pull it across the water the uh, fish can see it. Okay. So now I've got that in there. That's my body. I've got some uh, thin fly foam, two millimeter, two millimeter uh, black hairline thin fly foam. Pre-cut that you know, quarter inch wide, maybe a little, little more than that. And take that and cinch it in. Get some thread over to lock it into place. You may ask why so much foam underneath. Again, symmetry, more flotation in the fly. Next, cactus chenille, medium black. Again, this material has um, some green and black highlights in it. This stuff's pretty electric looking. Sheds water quickly. So when you pull this fly off the water, drops the water, stays on top fairly well. I'm going to take this, wrap it through for a thorax. I will tie that off just at the base of that that leg material. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, so I've got that. Now, we'll turn this sideways so you can see it. I'm going to take these um, fibers, the moose hair, and try to evenly distribute them on both sides. So I'm going to splay them out to the side. Get them pulled back, get my thread in front so I'm ready for my foam to come forward. Bring the foam over. Pull it a little bit, not too hard. And get it where you want it. A couple loose wraps, snug it down. Take a look at it, see where you got it. See how those legs lay back? Okay. So here's where we're at. Now I want to make the little pad that goes in the front. And this is uh, going to keep this thing skating on top. Again, two loose wraps. Snug it down. Watch with your thread. You don't pull too hard because you can cut this foam. Now, the nice thing about this Vivas material or thread is that it it it'll lay flat and it doesn't tend to cut this foam as bad. I'm going to bring my scissors, pull on this, snip that off, pull up in front of here. Oop, excuse me there. I'm having a little trouble there. There we go. Get some thread in front. I will take this now and whip finish. I'm just going to use my fingers because. Snug that up. Straighten everything out. And there you go.